Yeah. So this is a well deco. Welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovations. Today we are going to talk about how to make a sawdust compost for banana strip plantain multiplication. If you want to do multiplication, the best substrate or the growth medium which can support the growth and also enhance maximum sprouting is sawdust. We know that we get sawdust from dead woods or even fresh woods. Normally, if you go to the sawmill, it is common over there. But the fresh sawdust which is being fetched from sawmills have been proved to be toxic because if you have a um, variety of timber like mahogany, the exhaustion of the fluid in the mahogany, if not decomposed, is likely to interfere with the growth of the cuttings or the plantains to banana cuttings. Therefore, it is appropriate to use the decomposed compost of sawdust. Now, if you take a sawdust, I told you earlier that it is simply the particles of wood that we get from sawmill. If you want to make the right compost for your plantains to banana multiplication, then what you have to do is that you add sawdust to any other biodegradable material that we normally get from our garbage. So any consumable food which is biodegradable, you store it and then you add it to the sawdust. But the sawdust should contain about 50% of the whole thing. Now, then you add other components like any biodegradable kitchen waste, which is biodegradable. Then even weeds and all those things. After that, then you add water. So the kitchen waste or the any biodegradable material should be about 10%. And then you get about 40% water. Meaning water might be enough. Then you add it, you heap them. You dig a big, you dig a hole. Let's say this is a hole. You get the side, you dig the hole. Then you pour maximum amount of sawdust inside the hole. Then you add ten percent of what? So it will be. 50% sawdust. Then you add 10% kitchen waste, which is biodegradable. Then you add 40% water. This is the main component. So, after getting this in a pit, then you cover it nicely with wheat waste, weeded waste, or even grass eggs, mukuna, any green vegetable, green leafy vegetable. Then you add it. You leave this to stand for the period of six months. After that, you will see that automatically um, the grasses will cover the surface, aiding the composition inside the whole thing. And apart from that, after six months, you go fetch it and use it as substrate for plantains to banana multiplication. Let's go to the field and watch the various substrate that you've been able to design or develop for your own use let's go all right so 
This is this is our typical sawdust compost field, and that is where we get our sawdust for our plantains to banana saka multiplications. Yeah. So this is a well decomposed sawdust. And this is serving as a sludge or an organic manure for our um, plantain saka multiplication projects. For us to get away decomposed sawdust, we heap them as the process we taught you earlier. This is how it looks for the period of six months and we fetch from there to do a uh, plantain stroke banana saka multiplications so that is how it is if you see this today then it means that this is sawdust this is just a real sawdust where decompose sawdust this is it where decompose sawdust and that is what we use that is the substrate that is able to give the most um, best result in a uh, saka multiplication projects so this is where the compost all dust it was here we made them out and we covered it today we are fetching so this is how it is Yes, 
All right, so this is how to lay a sawdust on a plantain stroke banana multiplication field. This is a bed which is about 60 foot by 5. And we have our beds being laid. Now we have our decomposed sawdust. So we have it over there. Now, um, this is how to lay the sawdust. After having it on the bed, this is what you're supposed to do. So we have our decomposed sawdust. We are decomposed one made from compost. Spread it. Somebody may ask, what is the depth? Now, at least you have something like this. If you have it, yeah, something like this. So that the thickness will be okay before we lay the uh, suckers or the cuttings on it. So, this is how to lay it. The depth is cool. Yeah, so that is how the whole process is. You will continue to lay it to the end, and that is how it is. Thank you very much.